Hello first and coders. In our previous video, we have seen scope of a variable. But do you know that you can have the same uh, behavior when you put uh, a function inside a function? That other function has a local scope. So let's try that in today's video. So let's copy this two functions, fun one and fun two. Okay, now if I put fun one inside fun two, how do I do that? Yeah, you guessed it, right? All I have to do is just take fun one and then just paste it inside fun two and then shift everything inside it okay so now if you so now this function is inside that function if you try the idea i showed you in our previous video you would see that this function So if you try the idea of building a house, so it's like you have a house, okay? And then inside that house, maybe you have a living room or a shed or a garage. So you can see now what is happening is that these people outside cannot see what is inside because this green house the first definition has blocked the inner house so although if i manage to enter inside the function i can call this other function because now i can see it but if i'm outside i don't even know it exists because there is this green wall protecting it so let's see let's confirm that Okay, so if we run this, uh, let's avoid this because we have already dis uh, discussed this. Okay, so let's run this. Oh. Yeah, so let's let's remove this, sorry. So now if we run this, you can see Oh, sorry. The error says um my variable uh fun2 is referenced before assigned. So the mistake is that when my code comes it sees line six it sees font two now it doesn't know what font two is because it has not seen it before so the right solution is let's cut this out and let's put it at the beginning of the code so that uh, our function will see it before uh, it runs it okay so let's run this code now okay so now you can see that i'm able to access the the variable uh, inside fun2 uh, sorry i'm able to call fun2 you can see uh let's let's take this so now if you look at this code you can see that okay we have a big house and we have a small house inside right like we have discussed earlier now if if the code is going to execute when it's coming it cannot enter because it has no access so when it sees fun one now it has access to fun one remember 
it only has access to phone one. So now it enters inside phone one, so it cannot do anything to phone two. It, it just knows phone two is there. So when it sees print inside phone one, so it prints this. Then it sees x equal to 100. It saves x as 100. Then it sees print x, so it prints x. Then it sees print uh, calling function, so it prints this message. And then finally, it is given the right to enter font 2. So now it enters inside font 2. When it enters font 2, we can now see that, okay, uh, it starts executing. It prints inside font 2. Then it sees return, which will allow it to go back to line 9. And then from there, it sees return, which will allow it to go back to line 14 and then the program ends okay so you can see that even a variable is uh, having a uh, local scope if it is embedded inside another variable thank you for watching and see you next time